And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is my comments. I check how you read down and it again in the 10 minutes. If it goes up to 10 minutes, then very, 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 I don't know how many words that was, y'all. I don't know how many words that was. But please understand, I still, if you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. I speak in layman's terms so, so everyone can under understand because I am a true intellectual. Okay? I, I'm not, I had no time to, uh, uh, you know, refresh my word vocabulary and be too articulate with my words with these supercalifragilistics and espialidocious. I want to keep it down to earth so everyone can fucking understand me. Okay, I still do the advice. I st I'm still doing the therapy. Yes, I am. Okay, there's some some of the sort of limitations I have now on Facebook. So when I make a Facebook video, I can't no longer share it on YouTube. Okay, so you turn black and white. That's how I do. I got a filter and shit, right? I got a filter. This is gonna be less than ten minutes. This topic is about how married women think because I talk to hundreds of married women, and then psychically I pick up what they're thinking in their mind. And then I check up on their marriages later on in life. And I'm going to tell you what I discovered okay, about married women when they get married. The first rule of thumb is that when you have, this is what I learned from the pimps, hustlers, and gigolos back in the past. Way back before I became one myself. Okay, I used to be an ex-jigolor, I tell you, a gigolor in my past. Okay? You can look at, read the description box to see who the fuck I am. You know how to donate. I'm not doing the Patreon. I'm not doing all the other bullshit, okay? I'm not that ambitious. Don't give me large sums of money and shit and thinking that I'm I'm not thinking that you're out to get me and try to kill me, okay? Because I don't trust that shit, okay? <laughs> I sent this guy this money back and he was like, hey, what are you doing, man? What you doing? I said, nah, man, you ain't having no hit on me. <laughs> you know? I, I always respect you because you have a tag on my name, okay? You give me like fucking ten thousand dollars and fucking twenty two hundred thousand dollars, dog. I've been sitting that shit right back. <laughs> I know you may be a multi millionaire. Thank you very much, okay? But sometimes I feel that people when people donate, they did they know they out of pity. They donate out of pity. They don't have a conversation with you. They don't have no kind of rapport with you. And if you just just, just donate that type of type of money. It's a large amount of money, 10000 a day, 200000 I'm not going to really accept it, okay? Please understand that. But that's beside the point. I digress here. You can donate to my cause. A lot of people can do a lot of different things. But once one person gives too much, that's a great thing. It's a great noble deed. But I don't really know you. You might, want, you may, you might be out to kill me, okay? You might have a contract on my head, okay? <laughs> you might be a hacker or some shit. I got to be paranoid, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I digress here. Um, this video is about how married women think. As I said before in my past, I used to be a counselor for women that okay, used and abused women. Okay. And also I was a jiggler. Okay. I was never a womanizer. Okay. Cause some people always look at me as the bad guy. Okay. I like when people think I'm a bad guy. Okay. It's okay. Because I like that negative energy. Then I flip it on them and they're like, Oh, oh because you are the idiot not to ask enough questions, dog. You don't know me. Just like Donald Trump is being attacked left and right and shit. But everybody looks like some bad guy, okay? But please understand this. This is the outcome. I keep it real simple and sweet for y'all, okay? And I know some people will be turned off because I'm rambling on until I get to my point. Okay, that's what I want to do. That's part of my plan, my master plan, right? And um, please understand, when marriage, when you spend a lot of money on marriages, they usually don't work. Okay, let's put, let's put it like this. Let's make it very clear. Most marriages... Who spent over at least about twenty thousand dollars? I don't give it. That's too. To me, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. To me, a thousand dollars is a lot of fucking money. Do you understand that you need all these people and shit? Just use common sense when you think about it. When I married my wife, who was from Ethiopia, I, I spent less than at least two hundred dollars because her, it's, it's her country, the currency here in her country, and I, I recorded all the whole entire thing. I I didn't even do it the, the the way she wanted me to do it. Okay, the white traditional wear, the white the white Jacronian dragons type of way. I I wore blue. Okay, I'm a colorful individual. Okay, even though she was a virgin. Okay, it was very pretty and everything was nice and shit and it went all well. 
Okay, but please understand when you're being pushed, when a man, when a woman, it's usually a woman, says, "Let's," she's not going to say a woman who's of uh, of not of good intentions. It's going to say, "Let's spend forty thousand dollars. Let's spend fifty thousand dollars." Okay, from my experiences, from my motherfucking experiences, I learned that these women have a pattern. And if you check up on their relationship later on, you'll find out either she filed for divorce. Or the man is completely miserable. I talk to both sides of the fence. Don't put, I play the devil's advocate all in the motherfucking time. So don't, please don't try me, you low life motherfucking bastards. You masses of motherfucking asses. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> you, you don't know who the fuck you're talking to, right? But anyway, I've learned that the, either the woman after many years, maybe five years, give it five years. After all the money's been spent, okay, and the man is miserable. Nobody listens to the side of the man. I'm not, I'm not rooting for all men power. I'm not rooting for all women power. But there's good women out there and there's bad women, okay? There's more women out there who are more evil than men, okay? So that's a fact. There's more men who commit more suicide, okay, than women. That's a fact. But please understand that. That's the message I want to say. Women have ulterior motives. They set this stuck in their head. So they know that the money is either coming from their pockets or most likely from the male's pockets, right? So what happens is that they're thinking that, okay, oh, I got my green card. Just like my wife thinks she has the green card, correct? Okay. So if you're not emerald pill and you're not pure hearted, you're going to feel a lot of pain and suffering. But if you do know and you can foresee things, then you have nothing to worry about. Because me, I can foresee things. I tell my wife this is going to happen. And it actually does happen. But she kind of ignores it again. But it's okay. Because I'll, I'll have my cake and eat it too in the long run. And it, overall, and directly and indirectly. A wise man can say indirectly and directly and still go be scot-free. Always be scot-free. That's why you cover your ass if you're in your pill. Because I'm down with the esoteric knowledge. Okay, right? So let me get on with the subject when it comes to married women. You're really not supposed to believe in marriage if you're a real man. OK, you're not so you're supposed to be sharing what women are supposed to be because women are already into poly polyandrous type of relationships. That's why they're not stable because they didn't have a father figure. So it, it comes back down to the father figure. Stability. Money is really the root of all evil. You want to say money's not necessary for love money. If you give a person a lollipop, it's a, it's a thought that counts, baby. It's a thought that counts. OK, like, you know how men like simple things. Now, a lot of those simple things that men like, like electronics and toys and cars and shit, are very expensive. But what women like, it's very on a superficial outcome. It doesn't help their mind. It makes them feel good about themselves. That 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 shows right there that that woman is more likely for show. And if a woman's for show, she has a lower self-esteem than usually expected. Correct? Okay, there we go. People who are narcissistic, people who don't know how to uh, use their minds to keep themselves distracted from society. When people love the society and people love the social, they socialize and shit too much, they become dumbfounded. Okay, that's a fact as well. Okay, you, you don't learn for yourself. You're basically learning what everybody else wants you to learn. Okay, fuck what they say. Okay, but that's all I really want to say about married people, women. And that's why I, I don't really believe in marriage, but I had to get married because my voice has told me to get married. Okay, so that's another subject altogether. Okay, so don't put me in the same track again. Okay? <laughs> I lost my virginity to a fucking virgin. Okay, all right. That's controversial as hell, right? And there's a lot of there's a lot more men out there who are virgins, average looking men who are virgins than fucking women. Okay. So I'm not hating on married women. I'm just trying to tell you what, what, how married women think when they get married. They think they, they got their green card and they taking advantage of the system. They're going to use white daddy when they don't get their way. They have full control. It's about control too, in a sense. It's not about discipline. It's about control. Like I can do this. It's an undisciplined type of control. It's a very, uh, you know, emotional type of control. It's not a logical control type of control. Peace and love to brothers and sisters of Light and Dark. Welcome to my page. And please understand this. This is under 10 minutes. If it's over 10 minutes or something very important, I always talk about something very important. It's all in scripted. Peace. <laughs>